while Shabbos is welcomed in with Mizmar Shir Liyom HaShabbat, when we say that Mizmar of Tehillim, that specifically is a song for Shabbos, or the bottom line is when Shabbos comes in in, in halachic, pure halachic terms, in, in, uh, and we accept Shabbos. Now, so technically speaking, one could begin when come, one, one comes to, to Shul, to Beit Knesset, on uh, Friday, Friday evening, uh, with uh, just getting together and saying Mizmar Shili Yom HaShabbos, welcoming Shabbos in. But we know that there, there is not what we do. If we are actually, if we daven Nusuf Svard of the introduced by the Baal Shem Tov, in, uh, in Mincha, we're already adding a hodu, hodu Lashem. And that is also preparation for Shabbos. Perhaps we'll make another video about that. But let's talk about Shabbos. So we're coming from Ariv to Davin Shabbos, and we meet a series of Mizmorim a series that comes from Tehillim, not uh, consecutive, four, four of the Mizmorim are consecutive, beginning with Lechun and then the last two are not consecutive. And that's six. We introduce Kabbalah Shabbos with six Mizmorim. Well, it's nice to welcome Shabbos, and it's nice to say Tehillim, and it's nice to sing them. Mizmar Shir Liyom HaShabbos. But what is, the, what is the significance of this? And where does it come from? So let us go actually back to Gemara, but we're going to read it from the, the way the Rambam cites it in Perak Lamed of Hilcho Shabbos, that what is Kavod of Shabbos? So Kavod of Shabbos is getting ready, cleaning the house, shining your shoes, right? The Rambam says in Perak Lamed, Halacha Beis of Hilcho Shabbos, Ezeu Kavod Zeshamru Chachamim Shemitzvah Ladam, what the Chachamim said, that a person is supposed to, Lirchotz Ponov, Yodav Raglov, Bechamin Ber Shabbos, it's I take to take a hot shower, a hot bath, Ber Shabbos, Mipnei Kavod HaShabbos, for cover of Shabbos, honor of Shabbos, umitateif batzitzit, he wraps himself in in a tzitzit in a talit, the yoshei bechovet rosh, and he sits with a serious attitude, miachel at balat pnei Shabbat, yearning, longing to receive the face to welcome the face of Shabbos, kemoshu yotzei likrat hamelech as one would go out and prepare and go forth to greet the king who is coming. V'chachamim yishonim, the early chachamim, hayu mekabtsim talmideyem be'er Shabbos, they would gather their talmidim, their students on Erev Shabbos, umisatven, and wrap themselves in talesim, v'omrim, bo v'neitze likra Shabbos hamelch, let us come and go forth to greet Shabbos, the king. Now, of course, if you daven Nusach Svard, you know, and it's based on different gears, it's in the Gemara, Shabbos Hamalka, or Shabbos Malkasa, and the Shabbos is the feminine, and the king, and we are going forth to greet the queen. Shabbos Malkasa. So, we know we know what, now we know where it comes from. But what are we doing now? Where did this, where did this particular, the Rambam doesn't say we, 
we, uh, we're supposed to say these mizmorim, where does it come from? So this actually comes from a, a uh, custom instituted by the Chachmei Tzafat, by the Ari Zal in the 16th century. And what they would, they would gather and they would go out to greet Shabbos. And in their going out to greet Shabbos, they're going out in terms of liturgy that was going to greet Shabbos, the welcoming of Shabbos, right? The welcoming of Shabbos was a number of mizmorim were chosen. And I just want to give a, a simple, simple, and everybody, obviously, this is not a long, long sheer, simple structure of these of this, uh, these choices. The, 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 I've already given a simple giveaway. The simple giveaway is that there are six mizmorim. Ah, we're going to greet Shabbos. We're going to greet the Kala. Kechasan <coughs> likrat Kala. Oh, well, there's one day and there's two days and then there's the seventh day. There are six days. We're going towards Shabbos. We're going towards Shabbos. We're always going towards Shabbos. And we're moving towards Shabbos starting with L'chun Aranana. And we're right before Shabbos when we come to Mizmor L'David. But now, when we think of it in this terms, and we know what the Gemara said in the Rambam that we just read, we see right away what these Mizmorim have to do, at least technically, with, with the why. Because we learn the halacha is, you're supposed to go forth to greet the king, to greet the queen, depending on the girsa, Right? How do we begin? Lechu niranano l'ashem. Let us go forth. Right? Lechu, go. Niranano l'ashem. I see in the translation that it says, I'm seeing a translation, come. I've uh, go forth, go towards. Right? Okay. Liranano l'ashem, nori l'tzuri yishenu. We're going to send we're going to sing, we're going to shout, enjoy, right? That's how the Mizmor begins. And if the Mizmor is the first, it's already, line it up. It's, you could say it's with the first day, first day, right? But at least it's the opening. Now, how does it work out for the first day of creation? No. You'll work that out, okay? We're not doing that now. What I want to see is that sees Ms. Morin lead me in song, in joy, and that is precisely what the way we're supposed to welcome Shabbos is, halachically. And this gives us the kavana and the, if you will, the songs to sing. Now, when we say the songs to sing, I want to be very, very uh, specific. S- Tehillim is poetry. This is all from Tehillim. Tehillim is poetry. And of course, anybody who knows poetry knows that all poetry is not read. Poetry is sung. It has a melody, right? So I've noticed that there's a lot of, there's a lot of, in many places, Baruch Hashem, there's a lot of singing and everything. But sometimes I wonder if the people who are singing if they actually know what the words that they're saying are meaning. Don't get me wrong. There is meaning in pure melody, but, but there is meaning in words. And when the words are joined to melody, you get poetry because all poetry is sung and it's the highest level of speech and the highest level of song. Let us go and joy, let us sing and they go, will greet the Kawa. And the Chachmei, Chachamei Mivtsat, had this, had this uh, idea. We're going to greet, greet Shabbos. Nikanma Fon of Besoda, we're going to 
we're going to greet Shabbos, right? And so on and so forth. So we have the, the, the six, right? So right now, I leave it up to those who are listening and are actually interested in this idea, more than interested. They say, well, I've got to know what I'm saying. And so study it. And if you, don't, if you can't study it in the Hebrew, study it in the English. The Hebrew is really what is significant here because it's a poem and we all know that uh, what, what, when you translate a poem, what is left is the into into a foreign language when you translate Hebrew into English when you translate uh, Tehillim into English, right? What is lost is the poetry, actually. Okay, but be it as it may, we try to make it up with melody, but melody alone is not enough. And so we are working these out, okay? And now I'm going to just go to the to the sixth. The sixth mizmor. Now, the sixth mizmor has has a repetition, okay, that we 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 know once again. Kavod appears. Havu l'Hashem kavod vaoz, and we know lichavod Shabbat. Okay, Havu l'Hashem kavod shemo. Kavod of Shabbos and the kavod of Hashem intimately related, okay? But just a te- another technical point. This is the sixth Mizmar, right? And note that the, the, uh, the, a word that repeats itself in the creation, in the nature of creation, the nature of creation and ongoing creation, right? The word that repeats itself and it repeats itself six times, six days. Kol, kol, right? Now, when we hear the word kol, we know what it is, but we know the reference kol is Matan Torah, and it's in great, great thunder and lightning, and there's a loud voice very strong but coal is also in absolute peace and in silence because the coal godol the great sound of matan torah from sinai is repeated again when eliyahu comes to har sinai running away from the forces of achav and Yezebel and seeks to hide and seeks to retreat from responsibility to the people who are a difficult people. Am Yisrael is a difficult people. And God reveals himself to Elio, not in the whirlwind and not in the thunder and not in the storm. God reveals himself the coal in a sound. But what is the sound? All of these that I just mentioned are sounds. The call that Elio hears from God is kol de mama daka, which is translated beautifully, oftentimes, as the sound, the still small voice. But that's not the translation. It's the sound of silence. Kol de mama dom, vayidom aron, means silence, amo dom, silent. Absolute silence, right? And not only the mama, but silence that is very fine silence. What is the sound of silence? And it's the voice of God. So God speaks. God speaks, and it's true. God it does speak in thunder, and God does speak in the, in the sound as we appear. God speaks in the sound of silence. And man, to hear the sound of silence has to open his heart. Has to open his heart. And we're opening our hearts for Shabbos. And now we should be saying the song of Shabbos. And we know what the Mizmah of Shabbos is because there's a Tehillah that begins Mizmah Shir Liyom HaShabbat. 
But we don't say it. Because added into this, again, the Chachmei Tzafat, as far as I know, added in a poem that is associated with, that is described to Rabbi Nechunio ben Akana, a second, a second generation Tana. Ono b'choach, gedul asyamincha, tatir tzerura. Okay, right now we could do a separate, uh, a separate thing on what this... What, what it really means, okay? In other words, just not, you have translations and I hope everybody who's listening to this will understand that when they, they next, the next, uh, the next Shabbos, they're going to look in case they don't know what they're saying, what they're singing, the tune may be very nice, but the words, <laughs> right? To know what you're saying. you know, it's sad that people can even graduate from Yeshiva high schools, and they can't properly translate what they're saying in the Siddur, not even Shmon Esra, not even Kriya Shema. Okay, sad, okay. Well, we want to be happy. There's no, there might not be a mitzvah of Simcha on Shabbos, but it's always a good idea to be happy, okay? Now, when we count up the number of lines in this, we note that each one of the lines has Six words. Ona b'choach, gedulat yemincha, tatir tzerura. Right? And six words, six words, six words, and seven, right? Seven stanzas. Right? And then something that was not written by Rabbi Nechuni ben Akana, but when I say it's not written, it's not, <laughs> it's not his text, okay? Whether he actually, I don't know the history of this, the, the, whether he actually ins- had it, added it or not, but it was added. So the last of the stanzas, which is, since there are seven, we're getting closer to Shabbos, since there are seven, okay? The seven, the, what, one line stanzas, if you will, the last one, it ha- oh, they all have six words, all, okay? But the last of them is, would, would be Shabbos. Shavatenu kabel, ushma tzakaseinu. Hear our plea, hear our cry, right? Hear our cry. Yodea talumos, the one who knows secrets. In other words, God knows the secrets of the heart. Yodea talumos. What does that mean? We're crying out. This isn't a secret. No. Shabbos, we don't cry out. Shabbos himi lizok. We, we, we don't cry out on Shabbos. Right? But there is another kind of a cry. And it's a silent cry. In fact, the Shtila Rebbe said, the, the son of the Vorka Rebbe said, when we make a Mishaberich for Cholim, we say, Shabbos himi lizok, urefua krovalovo. He says, when a person has to cry out and he can't. The cry that remains with him is the deepest cry. Right? It's the silent cry. But God hears the silent cry. And that's Shabbos because we don't cry out. Yodea talumot. God knows how much, how much we're longing, longing for him, longing for redemption. Right? And then I don't know where it's added. It's not seven days. We don't have an eighth day. But it's added. Again, six words. Baruch Shem Kavod Malchuto Liolam Vo'ed. But as we know, Baruch Shem Kavod Malchuto, except on Yom Kippur, is said silently. Baruch Shem Kavod Malchuto, when we say things silently, we're in the world both of secrets and of those things things deep in the heart which can't be cried out. For those who want to look at this more deeply, see the, the Gemara on where Baruch Shem Kavon Malchuto, the Olam Voed, which we say when we cry out, Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad, also six words, but Shema, that's, I'm not making anything of that, 
but Baruch Shem Kavod Malchusov, Olam Voed, except on Yom Kippur, we don't say it out loud. Baruch Shem Kavod Malchutov, Olam Voed. But it's about Kavod, right? Havul Hashem Kavod, Vaoz. Baruch Shem Kavod Malchusov, the Olam Voed. Right? And then we are going to greet because another thing was added, a poem by one of the disciples, both of the Ariya Kadosh and of Rabbi Yosef Karo and Svat Shlomo Alevi Alphabets, the author, it's the acrostic of L'Chadodi, Shama V'Zachar B'Di Berechad, right? And we... We end with the end, the last unit, the last stanza is Likrat Shabbat. That's the operative, operative refrain. Lecha Dodi Likrat Kala, okay? Pinei Shabbat Nekabla, right? Which, of course, at this point is like Shabbos is, <laughs> right? Is it? So we're talking about now already Shabbos is seven. The seventh, and that's the kala. Okay, and we say boi b'shalom ateres balo, yamberina or b'simcha, depending on what nusuk yadavim. Okay, boi chala, boi chala. All right, and that is the welcoming of Shabbos before we're technically accepting Shabbos, which we do with the seventh Mizmar, which is appropriately, just in case we wanted to figure out which one to pick for Shabbos, appro- appropriately Mizmar Shir Leom HaShabbos. Mizmar Shir Leom HaShabbos. And what is good Mizmar Shir Leom HaShabbos? Tov Lodos Lashem. When the world will be perfected, Bifroach Rishoyim Kamoesev, when evil will disappear from the world, that is... That is the, the promise of Shabbos, Liyom Shekulo Shabbos, Umenucha Lechai Olomen, for the great Shabbos, for the great Shabbos. So, if, if nothing else, this is a, a uh, I would say, uh, you know, like I'm talking into a camera here. So, I hope somebody is, somebody is, you know, is the point of it is I'm talking to somebody. So if I had to say, go back to, to my former role as a person who was a Baruch Hashem, was able to, to do something that was very, very rewarding in life, you know, <laughs> where the big bucks are, is to teach. So I, if I had to give a, 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 a teaching kind of a, for those who are listening to me in English, because I'm speaking in English and you're following me, therefore. So I, I ask you, <laughs> I, I say to you, know what you're saying in Hebrew. Learn it well. See how it reflects your experience of the week. Such that Shabbos is different. I, when, I, when, I taught in the, when I taught in the yeshiva and I would come, <coughs> when I come to to speak at Shalashudas, I would announce at the beginning of the year, okay, that before I began to speak, I said, uh, you all probably know when Shabbos is over, whatever I say, Shabbos is over at 7.37. So at a certain point in time, I know you're all polite, you're not going to get up and walk out, but you know, you'll begin looking at your watches and you're like, you sit, give a signal to the rabbi, that it's time, you've got things to do, it's Mozart Shabbos. He said, no, no, right? Shabbos, person should not say, Rav Hutner used to say, you shouldn't say, Yontav or Shabbos, it's going out, this the Royce. You should say, it's going in. I'm taking Shabbos in with me. I can't let it go. I'm holding on to it a little bit, a little bit longer. I recommend to you to find the, the, the uh, video uh, of the Rav describing is going to the Amadzus in um, in uh, in Warsaw when he was a teenager. 
it's in Yiddish, but there are English subtitles, and you can, if even if even if you don't, you can hear the you can hear the pathos in, in the way the Rav, Rabbi Soloveitchik spoke. And you don't want to let Shabbos go. Who can let Shabbos go? Mizmor Ledavid Hashem Roi once and again, twice and three times. You can't let it go, right? It's not like the Rav just said. The Rav said in America at the time that he you know, in America people, yeah. Okay, we have I Shabbos, see you next week. You know, like, okay, you're gone, <laughs> right? We, we want to carry it with us. So in order to carry it with us, we have to have some sense of what Shabbos is. And if nothing else, in simple pedagogical terms, knowing what you're saying, knowing what you're dominating, knowing what you're singing, when you begin... Lechun rane no la Hashem, no riyal etzur yishayinu. We're going to greet Shabbos. We're going to greet the King. We're going to greet the Queen. This is the great opportunity. So, Hakadosh Baruch Hu should should grant us the wisdom to understand that and the joy to actually know it and therefore experience it.